after all the controversy with this MCU Blade film from all the different directors, from all the different writers, to now the original Blade, Wesley Snipes making fun of Marvel because they can't get this production together, it's time to look ourselves in the mirror and say the hard truth. Blade needs to be a series. Now, I know all of us are emotionally invested in this Blade movie, and we want to see it in the best possible light, and we want to see it on the big screen. I get that. But let's look at the pros and cons of it. Let's look at the character. Let's look at what they can do. And let's actually have a real conversation about where this Blade movie is going. Because let's remember, I know we as fans are very familiar with Blade. We don't need any introduction. But the general movie going audience hasn't been presented with a live action Blade for 20 years. A little bit less if you talk about the Sticky Finger show but let's not. Which means that we're going to have to do some version of an origin story. And if we take Marvel's track record with origin stories as an indication of how they would do it, that means we're going to spend half the movie getting to know the character before he actually becomes Blade. Before you actually see him be Blade in all of his Blade girl glory, we have to spend 45 minutes to an hour getting to know him and setting everything up. Which means we're going to have to wait all this time since 2019 to whenever they make this movie. We have to wait all these years for the movie to come out, go see the movie. And then best case scenario, the absolute best case scenario is that the movie is good enough to get us excited to go see a sequel, which we'll have to wait another four or five years to come out. Cause what really is the downside of making it a series? It's not gonna go on ABC. It's not gonna be Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's gonna go on Disney Plus. And yes, Disney Plus hasn't had a spotless record when it comes to their MCU series to date. Sure, but if the rumors are true and the speculation is true and Jordan Peele is coming on to direct Blade because we know they just lost their director and we know that Jordan Peele met with Marvel around the same time. So if it's true that Jordan Peele is coming on to direct Blade, that's an amazing get. If they can keep Mahershala Ali on as Blade and bring in Jordan Peele to direct, that will redefine my enthusiasm for this movie and I think inject a lot of goodwill into the prospect of this project. But at the same time, even if they do that and he redoes the script and put his Jordan Peele sauce on it, we're still looking at two years before we get this movie. So what I'm saying is if you scale it to a series, one, the budget difference shouldn't be that drastic because Disney Plus with their series usually operates in an area that's above TV as far as their special effects and their set design. It's above TV, it's above what the CW does, but it's a little bit below what their movie does. Just so from a story perspective, instead of two hours, you get 10 hours. And then from a budget perspective, it's not that much of a difference. You really get the best of both worlds. The only thing you're sacrificing is not going to the theater and seeing it, which is a crazy thing for me to suggest because I'm big on theater. I am a big theater promoter. I'm a cheerleader. Go see the theaters, go in there. Everything should be viewed in the seat theaters. I went and saw the first two episodes of Fallout in the theaters. It was amazing. I'm real big on theaters, but I'm just saying for the purposes of this character and what we as the fans to get the best out of this character. For his first outing, it probably should be a series. Let me know what because you think. Also, do you think they should just be a mature, get their stuff together and put out this Blade movie, or do you think they should re recontextualize it and put it out on Disney Plus as a series? Let me know what you think, and we can get into it, and I'll catch you guys next time.